In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Easy Editor in PowerDirector. So let me go ahead and open up PowerDirector. And if you want to, use the Easy Editor to create a quick, fun, and easy edited video with video clips that you've shot. So when you click Easy Editor, it will open up and it will ask you to import your photos or videos to make the video out of. Click Import Media. You can import an entire folder or specific files. So I have some video files in a folder that I want to select. Easy Editor has a lot of different themes which we'll see in the next style section. And they have one that is a travel style. And so I have some shots of some cityscapes that I think would be great for a travel montage. So if I select those clips, click Open, it will import those videos into PowerDirector. Click Next, and now it's time to choose a style. As I mentioned, you have Around the World, Getaway Stories, Wedding Album, Voyage of Discovery, lots of different styles that you can choose from. So I'm just going to click this Around the World, select that, and then click Next. Now you have the option to add music to your video track. So I'm going to click Add Music, I'm going to do, go to a music folder that I created and select one of the songs that I think will sound good for this video. Select Open. You can adjust the audio mix between video and music tracks. So if your video has sound on it, you can adjust it so it's playing more of the video audio versus the music. But I just want music to be the main audio source and not having the audio from the video. Then you can specify the duration of your video. You can choose the original duration, which is the duration of the clips that you have imported. So all of those three clips that I imported total 56 seconds. Or you can set an output duration and you can change this depending on how long you want the output to be. I'm just going to select original duration. You can also choose to fit the duration to the background music or not. If you click the settings button, you have more settings that will adjust how your video is created. So you can select certain criteria that allows the Magic Movie style to cut the movie. So for example, if you want videos where, with scenes that have zooms or pans, you can make this a priority. Or if you want scenes with moving objects, you can make this a priority or take those out. You can change it according to the duration of the scenes, scenes with people. And Magic Movie Style within the Power Director will automatically create the video according to your settings. I'm just going to leave it at its standard settings. And then you click Next. It will do a little bit of work to create your video and it will then preview the video for you. So let's take a look. So here's the video. And you can see that you can scrub through the entire video. And it's pretty cool, this template that they have given us to use. It's very high quality and it's a fun template for a travel video like this one. So if you are happy with your video, you can move on. If you aren't happy, you can go back to the adjustment style tab and change your settings. But say you're happy, let's just select next. Then you can choose whether you want to export or produce the video. You can burn it to the disk or you can take it into PowerDirector to do some advanced editing if you want to make some tweaks to the video. Let's just say we want to export the video, which is the easiest option. It will bring it into PowerDirector where it will open up their export module. So within this export module, you will see that there are a variety of options for choosing the type of export that you want. So you have 2D, 3D, you can choose for different devices. You can say you want it for online viewing. And this is a quick way to export and upload your video directly to one of these sites. So you'll need to log in to one of these sites if you want to export and upload directly. But my 
preference for editing videos and creating videos is to always export the file so that I can just save it on my computer and I can then go ahead and upload it online wherever I want. My preference is also using QuickTime files. QuickTime files are great for uploading online, they are high quality, and they are, are also small file sizes. So I would like to choose QuickTime, but you can choose any of these different formats depending on what the result is, depending on what you need to do with the video clip. You can then change the quality size because 160 by 90, that's how big the video would export, that's not that good of quality. So I want it to be full HD because I shot video using full HD. You can also change the frame rate between 24 and 30p. I'm just going to use 30p. Down below the preview window, you can choose where you want to save your video. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop. I'll call it travel video, hit save, and then hit start down here on the bottom left of PowerDirector to start producing or exporting your video. It might take a few minutes to export your video depending on how long the video is and how fast your computer is. So once it's done exporting, you can view it wherever you saved it to your documents just to preview it and make sure that it looks great. So that is how you basically use the easy editor in PowerDirector. It's a fun way to quickly put together a montage of videos. They have some fun styles. The travel setting was just one of them, but you can use all of the different ones to have fun with your own videos. You can even use photos within the Easy Editor as well, which I'm going to be showing you in the next tutorial on how to create a photo slideshow using the Easy Editor.